So there's a group of investigators here in the United States that are working together to uh, report their data on their patients with acute myeloid leukemia to a central database where we can then look at the results of rare subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia. And my colleague Tala Batter from the Mayo Clinic in uh, Florida has uh, led this effort. And in particular, we've looked at patients that have a TP53 mutation. And we know that this mutation confers a poor prognosis for these patients because their uh, leukemia is, I'll say, more stubborn to treat. It's harder to get them into remission and also keep them in remission. Now, there's some new agents, some new drugs that are being reported at the American Society of Hematology meeting that are hopefully going to improve the outcome for those patients. Uh, but those treatments still haven't entered, I'll say, prime time, and we're still not sure exactly how they're going to benefit these patients. So in this uh, studies, we looked at uh, the results of patients with the TP53 mutation in patients with acute myeloid leukemia, and we confirmed that they have a poor prognosis with conventional treatment. Now, many of them are offered blood or marrow transplantation to see if that can help improve their outcome. And one of the abstracts that we're presenting, we did indeed show that patients that are in particularly first remission, but even if they have a relapse of their disease and get into second remission, that getting them to a bone marrow transplant can improve their survival compared to the patients who are not able to get to a bone marrow transplant. So we think that uh, for patients that are eligible for a transplant, that should be offered to them, particularly with a TP53 mutation, to see if we can improve their outcome.